Blaze Bodies! What's going on, everyone? It's great to see you. Uh, this is weird. It's dark out. Um, I don't think I've done a segment before in the dark. So bear with me if you can't see me. Uh, I put a post up the other day that said, Confidence is silent. Insecurity is loud. Or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> but it's so true, is it not? Um, when they say the... When they say loud, that doesn't necessarily mean on a volume standpoint. It, that could be in many manifestations. That could be being loud about um, posting things on Instagram or social media for that matter. Or being very vocal about things that you don't really appreciate in other people, so to speak, a.k.a. talking shit. That could be, that could be many things, and just as that could be many things, confidence is silence. That simply means being humble, keeping your opinions to yourself. There are so much things I disagree with. There is so much things that I see and hear and witness and observe, but I don't ever, I don't ever say anything because I vowed to myself a long time ago and believe it or not, there was a time in my life when I was pretty negative. I've gone, you know, I, I, I back my goodness. I don't even know how long ago it may be, maybe the last 25 years ago. But I was uh, I was a negative person. I would I and I and the reason that people stay in a negative environment is because they it's easy to be negative. It's hard to be positive sometimes. But I soon quickly realized that I'm, being negative is just taking people down. You know I I I was always one to to be honest. I never. As negative as I could be, as dark as I could be, I still never really talked badly about people because I, I still back then didn't want that turned on myself, even though <laughs> that, you know, a lot of people have talked a lot of negativity about me over the years. But I, again, I soon, I soon realized that you have to consider the source. But yeah, I'll be honest, I was I was negative and I was loud about being negative and, and it was just, again, it's easier to be dark. It's harder to feel the light. So, I mean, when, you know, nowadays with social, social media, look, look, we're all insecure. I can absolutely admit that I am insecure in many ways. I mean, God, that's how I got into working out in the first place. I was picked on as a kid. I was, I was, I started lifting weights. I was insecure about myself. I didn't think I was strong. I didn't, so that's why a lot, a lot of bodybuilding and fitness types get into what we do because, because we're insecure. But at some point you got to put things into perspective and realize that you're not helping anybody and you're certainly not helping yourself by 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 being a being a shit shit bag talking bad about people that's not gonna that's not gonna get you anywhere now as i said in the beginning of this segment you you can manifest the insecurities in other ways like always posting pictures of yourself expecting and wanting views and and likes and all that stuff and pe people it feeds their insecurity by the reassurance but the reassurance is never enough so they continue to do it all the time it's like a vampire who can't quench his thirst with blood he has to keep going out and drinking the blood of people 
it's the same thing with insecurities. It's never enough. You, there are people that need to be constantly reassured of how they look, how they're doing, how, you know, what, what they're doing. They, they, they never get enough, no matter how much you compliment them. No matter how much you would go on their social media page and, and, and say nice things and like their stuff. It's never enough because they still have issues with themselves eternal, internally. And it's never satisfied until, until they get to the root of the issue with themselves. Until they put things into perspective and see their value. If they don't ever see the excellence inside them, they're never going to feel good. No matter what you would say to people. So they're still going to go on social media. They're still going to put pictures of themselves. They're, they're going to look for those, look for the, look for the feedback. And then now people who are confident, if, if you notice, they don't really put up a lot of stuff on social media. Or they don't talk vocally about themselves. They don't, you never hear them talking about what they've done or themselves or it, it's, it's, it's confidence. It's, they're being humble. They don't need reassurance. So that's what that all means. And, and it's, there's more to it, of course, but I guess the moral of today's story is just, just be humble. Don't depend on other people's opinions. Look down deep in yourself, see all the good in you, and then block out the negative. Because the good, I'm telling you, will outweigh the bad. There is excellence inside you. There is greatness inside you. It's there, I promise you. You, though, have to see it. You're not going to get it from an outside source. All right, I got to go. My food's ready. And I'm hungry. Have an awesome weekend. Be careful if you get out there driving tonight. Roads are bad. And uh, 30 more days till spring. <laughs> I'll talk to you all soon. Get to the gym and make it hurt. I'll talk to you soon. Take care, everyone.